Oh line. my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, wow. Did he just die? That was so fucking gnarly! Yeah! Look at this wave! Oh, oh my god! On his head! Are you fucking oh, kidding me? Yeah, he was up. He's getting pushed into the rocks! Fuck! He's getting pushed into the rocks, bro. Yeah. This is super fucking bad. It's called 911 almost, right? Yeah. yeah he got it. No oh my god. Him. He's in front of those rocks. Going? He's going on the big yeah. rock. Go in, bro. Go in between those. He needs to fucking go in somehow. This is so gnarly. He's got it. Jump! <laughs> he's got it. He knows what he's doing. Oh my god, the next He's one. handling. He's got this. What do we do? He's got this. He's got this. He's right there. Fuck. He's an animal. He's got this. Yeah. Where is he? Temptation. Everyone's opinionated. It's just some you either bottle it up or you let it out. That's just the only difference, really. Like everyone has a strong opinion about something. Well, he's obviously really brash. You know, if they had changed the formats where you couldn't get a good score for falling, then you could have ran yesterday and oh, it would have been safe. Opinionated, passionate. Borderline obnoxious. Super dumb. They fucking called it off when it was firing. Ran us and yeah, shaking their I think that he has like this need where he just has to say what's on his mind at all times. Like how much this is going to suck for the next two days traveling straight into a shitty event. I'm probably going to lose first round. In surfing, I do not like are crowds, point breaks, crowded point breaks <laughs> that are glassy. <laughs> Don't really like the competition scene, really. Like crowded, easy to surf, glassy point breaks like Honolulu Bay. Don't like that. Being a kid here was awesome. Just did everything outside. Spent most days at the beach. Oh, getting the clamp naked. <laughs> when we were really young, we were nothing like some of the kids you see today, where they have like a coach and a filmer before they get out of elementary school. We started just kind of naturally competing amongst ourselves and then eventually started doing contests. More about fun and just beating your friends just to kind of do it. Not because you're like thinking about some crazy future in surfing or anything like that. I'll be just having a session now. So I became like the first surfer ever officially sponsored by Nike. And then <laughs> that's where everything went to hell. <laughs> um, I just, I didn't get along with the team manager. He tried to convince me that like, the professional surfing is just nothing that I dreamed it ever was. And I was just like, that's kind of bullshit. Like, I, I can do this like a different way. I, like, I know it's possible. And he's like, just basically was like, no, you're wrong, kid. Like, you're delusional. And I basically had this like big blowout with him. And I kind of told him like, fuck you. And I dropped Nike. <laughs> so I just got this like terrible reputation as like a 16 year old kid. The thing is, is that surfing as a whole is very conservative in the things that we celebrate and the things that are rewarded whether that's in a contest by the judges or 
you know, more broadly speaking, like who brands want to invest in and get behind. There's always this weird kind of vibe. Like what we're doing here is not as crazy as what's happening on Oahu. Like there's no way we're as good as those sponsored kids in California. We're just like a sideshow. It always kind of felt like that until like internet web clips kind of became a thing and you could kind of compare footage right next to each other and we're like, oh, what we're doing is kind of unique and special. The West Ball right here has 20 likes. Medina. How are you, man? You good? Good to see you, man. Good. 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 I don't know how being like an anti-social person who doesn't really talk to many people end up spouting his opinions so often and loudly on the internet. <laughs> it was something I always did, though. Like I used to do it on like surfing magazine message boards sometimes. Like, cause they just do like stories about like fashion or something. I would just like get so frustrated cause I felt like they were ignoring good surfing. And that's kind of where I started like voicing my opinion with what I didn't like. Online, he's a firebrand. He just says whatever's on his mind, doesn't care who it's gonna offend or piss off. And I think some people love that about him and some people hate that about him. Everyone has their opinions, but it's just safer not to voice them. But he doesn't stick to that, which I think a lot of people appreciate. What he's done with paddling at jaws on smaller boards is the most striking. I think that is really underestimated how hard that is and the way he's kind of taken to that. He's flipped certain things on their head and he has done things that no one else has done. And yet somehow he's not even in that conversation of who is the best surfer in the world. I would say that he is the best surfer in the world because who else is gonna go out there and do a trick that no one's ever done before and then also pack a crazy barrel of Jaws. I mean, they named a section of reef after him at Jaws. You'd think the guy doing the most innovative tricks would be just top of the food chain. And yet somehow the brands and the industry and seems to place more value on the guys who go out there and they surf to a heat criteria and win a world title. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's definitely the lay of the land right now. The reason is, is this like, I love surfing. I, I know what I want to see in surfing. And I don't know, it, I, like I love action sports as a whole. And there's like this, surfing does, is the least focused on progression I feel out of all of them. That's kind of like the basis for like most of my arguments is like, why aren't we encouraging people to push themselves more? There's obvious advantages that skaters and snowboarders have in terms of why they're able to progress at the rate that they do. The ramps are, going to be there tomorrow. You know, they're always going to be the same. That's not the case with the surf. You know, you never know what you're going to get. You might only get the opportunity to try a certain trick a couple times in a year. When you do stick something truly groundbreaking, I mean, it's a crazy event. Like, you, you see it when Albi landed his, uh, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> you see it when Albi landed his uh, 540 alley-oop last year. Is it a 540 alley-oop? <laughs> That is something that he was probably trying to do for a very long time and you only get so many opportunities and so when it happens it's like there's a little bit of magic in that moment. That's why you watch like people watch action sports or sports in general is to like see people do like feats that are like you thought were impossible or like really inspiring and then they inspire you to like do better in your life. I don't think that happens when you do something like give a person a 10 for surfing they do every day. Like you want to see people do things that they didn't know they could do. It, I feel like for the most part, surfing discourages that more than it encourages it. Surfing's gonna get there. Wave pools are really gonna help that happen. And Albie's pretty much gonna be at the forefront of pushing that.
was super impressed when we started working on the Staff High event because I didn't know how to run an event and I invited him in. and typically you call a pro surfer, hey we're doing this and this and they send me an email, here's my manager. And he said, do you want some help? I said, I'd love some help and he goes, well I know this guy, he's a snowboarder, gold medalist, he'd be a great judge and rather than saying, hey, send me an email, he's like, I spoke with him, I spoke with him, I'll put you guys in contact, which is just unheard of. I'd get texts at like 11, 12 at night, I'd wake up with all these texts and go, what about this, what about this idea, what about this idea? I think most pro athletes, beyond surfing or whatever, from what I've seen are master delegators and he was almost opposite of that. I just woke up again and messed up everything. very taken aback when after his heat I saw him punch himself in the face. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But it's just who he is, he's passionate. And he was so disappointed to lose and I really thought he'd win. And when he got knocked out, I think he was devastated. He had his family there and you just got to see his personality. We're kind of like taking the fun out of surfing when we're just going win, money, Olympics, all that shit. I mean, look at, look at skateboarding. There's so many different personalities, so many different people from different areas that are just all thinking different ways, doing their own thing with their own style, and it's cool. And in surfing, it's like, kind of gets funneled into this, like, one lane, and uh, Albie's not in that lane. All you gotta do is get like an average rail right at the beginning and it'll give you a sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be happy with that. <laughs> so, um, have you heard anything on the update of the contest? It's yellow. Okay. That's it. That's it. Well, that's all you need. And tomorrow morning you'll know. And the booties, I don't know if we'll know tomorrow morning. Or well, yesterday it has you know. to be 48 hours, and really, um, I'll win Guru. 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday looks um, pretty darn good. Actually. They were saying it's going to be Monday evening. Oh. If I cared too much about contests, I'd be pretty miserable all the time because I don't do good in them that often. So I try to just think about it as surfing and not anything past that. It's supposed to be offshore right now. This is straight onshore and draining. Sports Network, WorldSurfing.com, and Facebook Live were anticipating a start for this year's Jaws Challenge. Billy is a professional, and when, when I say that, I mean he prepares, he's strategic, he thinks how he can define get how you want. Yo, that way it was hot over there. That way it was hot over No, you can't know that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you guys can. I wouldn't want to though. I just want to catch the best waves of the day. That's my goal every Jaws contest is to get the waves I imagine getting in my head. I mean every Jaws swell, whether there's a contest or not. Supposedly this should be the conditions I like the best. But I've been wrong as many times as I've been right with swells out there, so who really knows. What Albie did during, during the Jaws event last year tells you a lot about who he is. When the conditions got too crazy and they called the whole event off, you know, where a lot of the best big wave surfers in the world saw those conditions and they were probably like, nah, pass, hard pass. But then Albie sees it and he's like, you know what, there's the potential to get a truly like incredible wave out there. He feels more at home alone on a 40 foot day at Jaws with crazy winds than he would surfing, you know, head high pipe with hundred guys out. I think that he clicks into another gear and so he's able to see these things differently and he actually enjoys it. That's when Albie's the most Albie is when he's pushing himself in crazy conditions that other people wouldn't even look at.
think he cares about the state of surfing. I think he definitely cares about the evolution. He's not doing this just for the recognition that comes with doing well in a contest. He would have been out there regardless. Like, this is what he loves to do. We've all been jabbed by Albie. He, he has an opinion on everything. I would argue that every single thing he's always said would make that person he goes at rethink it. I don't think it's ever out of left field where it can't be taken on board. There's always a level of truth that people go, oh yeah, I didn't think of that. I'm reading stab comments. Are these all stab comments or just comments? I wish I was Alfie's safety crew on the ski so I could run over his fucking head and ride it off as an accident. Remember that edit where Albi does that sick turn? Yeah, me neither. Oh, that was easy, dude. That was bottom fruit. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one who wants to see Albert take a fin to the arse. <laughs> Besides the Lesbo Techno, dude is fearless. <laughs> Albi secretly just is bummed he's not on tour. Quit whining and start surfing garbage QS waves. Decent advice. Fucking loser, Slater did his 540 in one try. <laughs> that guy just compared me to Slater, he's an idiot. <laughs> this clip would have been perfect if only you KO'd yourself at 110, dum-dum. 